When it comes to Mage Central and talking through the hierarchy where you ha can have a customer, a customer can have multiple homes, multiple homes um, or a single home can have multiple service sets. So in this video, we're going to show you how to add an additional home to an existing customer's account. So we've just gotten a call from Charles and he has a second house for us that he'd like for us to clean. So I'm just going to go to the customer level of the account. And you can see right here, we've got his original house that we clean right now. And we want to create an additional home that we'll be cleaning for him. So first step is click on create home. I've got the address here. So I'm going to paste it into my auto complete the address. It's going to auto fill in the information for me. Continue on. It is going to check and see if there's any similar homes. There is not. So I know I can go on and continue. And now I'm going to verify. So I'm going to name this. This is the Brown Second Home. And it may be, it's their beach home. Maybe it's their cottage. You know, you can name it um, whatever is going to let you know exactly which home you're talking about. Um, it is in the East Zone, so that is correct. And then any special instructions that I have about this home that Charles has provided to me that I need to know before arriving, I would fill in now for the home information. All right, so we've got our special home instructions. These are the home information that will show up every time someone goes to clean his new house at Juniper Street. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit this. So now that I've added the new home to Charles's account, I have to know what I'm gonna be doing when I'm there. So that means I need to create the service set for this home. So I click on create service set. Again, this is gonna be our routine service. So I'll enter routine clean. This is our house cleaning service set type. Um, scope is not um, something that applies yet that will come into play when we introduce a new quoting tool. So I'm gonna pick the original billing address. This is our routine clean. What time will this default start time be? We've agreed to a morning arrival and this will be assigned to team two as I've already checked my availability for when the team will be in his area for the day of the week that he's selected. There's no special instructions for the service set specifically. I put all that information at the home level and he doesn't have any preference times or exclude times for his arrival. So I'm gonna go ahead and create service set. As always, after you've created a new service set, you need to add the rate log. So I'm gonna to go to my rate log tab, update base fee. This is gonna include the fee that we charge every time that we go out, um, how many um, hours it takes for in labor hours for one person to clean and we're going to go to his house every two weeks create that rate log and now I need to schedule his jobs and again as I indicated we already had a time and team selected so I'm going to click on modify schedule every two weeks I'm going to select the first job date this is going to be the 27th with team two at 10 a.m. This is a first time in because we've never been to his house at Juniper Street. So I can check mark first time in. If I had any specific job instructions just for this first job, I would include those there. I'm going to go ahead and create my schedule. You can see here it's scheduled out my pending jobs for every two weeks starting on the 27th. Just go ahead and refresh this page. It's going to update my, update my service set name, give my frequency and all my pending jobs for the next year. And now you can head back over to the customer details level of his account and you'll see the two homes listed that we clean for Charles. It's got his first original home that we clean and then now the new home that we just added. And that's how you add an additional home to an existing customer's account. Thank you.